Hello everyone, in this video, I will introduce how to test the over-voltage and under-voltage function by using Panovo's PW636i protection relay testing equipment and NR's PCS relay. First, run power test software and open the template for over-under-voltage relay. With over voltage function, we set two stages for it, 59P1 and 59P2. In the over voltage setting, stage 1 trip value is 70 volts with 2.5 seconds trip time and the stage 2 is 80 volts with 1.5 second trip time. In the under voltage settings, Stage 1 trip value is 55 volts with 1 second trip time and stage 2 is 50 volt with 0.5 second trip time. After the setting, we can click run to start the testing. With the normal output, we may reset the LED indicator of relay. Now the voltage step by step up to close to the trip value. The voltage output value will be shown here. If no trip with a step up, the output will be back to normal value and output the next step for higher value. The stage 1 tripped and the relay showed the trip information 2501 millisecond and 59P1 operated. Reset the LED indicator and check with stage 2 of over voltage. Maybe you have a question that the voltage is higher than stage 1 but relay is no trip. It is because the fault time is less than stage 1, but more than stage 2, and the value back to normal is used for reset the timer for over voltage function. The stage 2 tripped and the relay showed the trip information 1507 millisecond and 59P2 operated. Reset the LED indicator and check with stage 1 of under voltage. Voltage output is step by step down to close the trip value. The under voltage stage 1 tripped and the relay showed the trip information 1000 millisecond and 27P1 operated. If the relay trip compact used the auto reset function, then there's no need to reset the LED indicator every time, like we checked stage 2 of under voltage. Under voltage stage 2 tripped and the relay showed the trip information 513 milliseconds and 27P2 operated. Now we go to report to view the results. Each function and the stage results are all here with past assessment.
save the report as default report format of Power Test software. If needed, you may also convert the report to a Word file. Thank you for watching the demo and if you may need any inquiry, please contact info at for further support.